Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because it is going to be a 24 hour readathon vlog and I'm even more excited because I'm going to be using the timer method for this readathon, which if you don't know is basically where you start a timer for 24 hours, but you stop and start the timer every time you stop and start reading so that you are actually reading for 24 hours. And I have not done one of these readathons in literal months. So I'm so, so excited to be doing one this weekend. I am gonna be doing this readathon with my absolute best friend, Lucy from Library of Lucy. I will tag her down in the description box. Definitely go watch her channel because she is an absolute icon and I love her to pieces and we always do readathons together so I'm very very excited to be doing this one with her. I'm going to show you guys my TBR right now. I am a mood reader so I may change my mind a few times throughout this video but I have a couple of books that I would really really like to get through during this readathon that I'm going to show you anyways. So the first book up on this TBR is a book that I'm actually currently reading and that is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. This book has been like so popular for so long and I don't know why I waited so long to read it but I finally picked it up and I'm currently like 80 pages in and it is so good. I can already tell that I'm going to love this book. It has those vibes already that it could possibly be a five star. I don't really know how to describe it but basically it's like a second chance romance where we have these characters who kind of had like this very intense but short period of time where they fell in love basically when they were in college and I think like when they were in college was in like the 90s and then it's also like 15 years later where they haven't spoken in 15 years and we don't know what happened and then they like reunite one day and then they like try to find their way back to each other honestly I don't know I could be describing that absolutely horrendously but so far it is really really good and it's really interesting like it's one of those ones where you want to keep turning the page so I'm very excited to continue with this one and I do feel like I can finish this one so I'm very excited then the next book that I am also currently reading is Daisy Hates by Jessa Hastings this is the second book in the Magnolia Parks universe again this has been on my TBR for literal months but I am reading this one I'm actually reading this one on my kindle I downloaded it on my kindle and I needed a book to read so I downloaded that and now I'm kind of hooked so I'm definitely going to be continuing reading this throughout the readathon again I'm actually currently like 80 pages in which is kind of crazy I'm literally 80 pages into both of my current reads but yeah this one I would absolutely love to finish during this readathon but then after that I'm not really sure what I'm going to read I do have a book package arriving tomorrow and that book is like literally like the most popular book at the moment so I may want to pick that one up when it arrives. I'm sure you know what book I'm talking about but I won't say it until I'm unboxing it tomorrow anyways but I picked out like two other books just to put on this TBR because I like to have like a bit of a range of genres as well because once I finish a book I never really read like the same type of book straight after it so I want to have like a little bit of a range. So the next book that I have on this TBR is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This is the fabulous Owl Crate edition and I'm really really excited to read this one. When I uploaded my Owl Crate unboxing a few people said that this was like one of their favorite reads of this year and that they absolutely loved it so I'm very very excited to read this one I have no idea what it's about but it looks good and I cannot wait to read it then the final book that I have on this TBR is You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kaylin Barron this is like a nice short book which is perfect for a readathon and also it's like a thriller or horror I'm not really sure actually what like genre it is but I know it's going to be like a bit spooky so basically the plot of this book is that our main character has like her dream job at this camp where like she plays the role of a final girl and like people come to this camp to like get terrified but like obviously like it's all fake but then actual murders start happening at this camp also this is a sapphic book which is just always a bonus so yeah I'm really really excited to read this one so yeah these are the four books that I have on my potential TBR for this readathon I don't know how many of these I'm gonna get through I may completely change my mind and pick different books but these are the ones that I have on my TBR for right now I'm gonna go I will come back to you when I'm about to start the readathon and I'm just so so excited okay besties I I literally have an Amazon packet here and I am the most excited I've ever been to open a book package because this book has literally been everywhere like everywhere for a couple of months now and I couldn't find it anywhere but I'm so excited to open this up I'm sure you may be able to guess what book this is but I literally cannot wait oh my god okay so let's open this up I am literally ecstatic right now so I'll give you a little peek can you can you guess what book it is it's fourth wing by Rebecca Yaros I am so happy to have this book in my hands like you don't understand how much I wanted this book and like everyone's been talking about it everyone for literal months I couldn't get it anywhere and I finally found it and I have it in my hands and I'm so 
excited to read this now like oh my god like the hype for this book is insane i've never ever seen a book with as many positive reviews and as much hype as i have with this book before okay i'm very excited to read this so i know like yesterday i showed you my tbr for the readathon but honestly like this one this one's kind of calling to me right now it's like extremely damaged like the binding is like literally falling apart i don't know if you can see that but like the book is about to fall out of the binding that's very frustrating but also i don't know if i care enough to try and send it back because i really want this book so if it falls out of the cover it falls out of the cover it's still the same story but yeah i am so excited to read this one i have not started the readathon yet i just did the intro yesterday but i am going to come back to you once i start the readathon this evening i will try and finish off my current reads before i move on to this one though but yeah i'm just so excited to finally have this book in my hands Okay besties, I have literally been reading for an hour and 27 minutes now and I am literally obsessed with this book. I can't even describe how like addictive this is and how easy this is to read. I started on page like 80 or 82 and I'm now on page 196. I just cannot stop reading it. I've just gotten up to part three of the book which is present day again and it's where like they see each other again for the first time after 15 years. But part two was literally like so emotional. I don't even know how to describe it because I've truly never read a book like this before. Before. but basically like in part two we got their entire like relationship from when they met up until like they kind of you know parted ways and this book so far is like reading like a 90s rom-com movie like i have never seen this in a book before like i actually don't even know what to expect from part three because what i've read so far i've I've never read in a romance book before like I've never read this same trope or the same dynamic kind of a thing there were like some parts of it where I was kind of thinking like this relationship is a bit cringy like some of the things that like they're saying was a bit cringy but honestly I think that that is the point because I feel like the book is really trying to convey the fact that like they are young and like they fell in love so fast and like everything happened so fast and then it kind of like went to shit so like I think that's the point and I think we're supposed to kind of get that bit of a cringe factor from it but yeah like I'm literally obsessed with this book and I truly do not know what to expect like I I do not know what's gonna happen usually in a romance book you can predict what's going to happen but I truly have no idea like I I really really do not know what is going to happen in this next like less than 100 pages but I know it's gonna break my heart like I know that this is gonna break my heart I'm not sure if this book is sad but I feel like it is like I feel like it has the potential to be like a devastating read and you know what i can't wait i cannot wait to have my heart shattered into a million pieces and hopefully like put back together again by the very end okay besties it is now after 11 p.m and i'm just about to get back into reading my goal is to finish this book tonight because i've only got like a small section left and it's a very fast read so i'm gonna put on some music restart my timer and read as much of this as i possibly can <laughs> Okay, it is 12.50 at night and I have just finished Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino and honestly like I haven't really processed this book yet like I don't even know what I'm gonna rate it but oh my god what a book I've never read a book like this before like I genuinely think that this is the most unique romance book that I've ever read and I would really really recommend it like I think it was amazing I don't even know what I can say about it other than just go pick it up because I don't want to reveal anything because I knew nothing about this book going in and honestly I think that's like the best way to read it because then you don't know what to expect this was such a stunning beautiful read I do think that this probably will be a five star possibly a four or 4.5 though so I'm not gonna rate it just yet I will give you my rating tomorrow but yeah I just absolutely love this book so so much so that is the first book of the readathon complete which I'm so so happy about and it took me two hours 36 minutes to read so I have 21 hours 23 minutes left in this readathon but I think I'm gonna go to bed right now though because I don't think I'm gonna start another book tonight I need a little while before I start into another one after finishing this one so yeah I'm gonna go to bed right now but I will talk to you tomorrow
Okay, so it's been like a day since my last update because I ended up going out for a dinner and drinks last night with my best friend and I did not read a single thing yesterday. Okay, so update on Daisy Hates. I'm now 29% of the way through the book and like I am liking it. I just forgot how like toxic these relationships are in these books and like how insufferable the characters are and I don't want to be irritated by it but I kind of am like I am finding these characters insufferable it's just very repetitive and like when I read Magnolia Parks for the first time I did kind of notice those things but like not as much I don't think but like this book even though it's following Daisy it's literally like the same dynamic as Magnolia Parks but just with a different character like it's literally like the same thing like a bit different obviously but like more or less the same and it's just so irritating because i'm just like you both love each other so much like literally just talk to each other like just have one singular conversation to say i like you i like you too and then like get together like that's all it's gonna take get your shit together but like also what i think is really annoying me is that like we're only 29 percent of the way through and it's already been like that like literally since the very beginning and i know the way that jessa hastings works and i know that this is gonna like end on a cliffhanger and like we're not gonna actually get anywhere with these fucking characters even by the end so i'm like why am i even reading this it's literally so repetitive like just over and over again like they like each other then they are mad with each other and then they sleep with somebody else to make the other person mad and then they get jealous and then they say that they're not jealous and like it's not to say that i'm not liking it because I am and Daisy and her brother are like gang lords so like that's something that we didn't have in the first book like it is interesting but like I feel like it just is too repetitive so I don't know I am going to continue reading it obviously because I'm like a good bit of the way through and I do want to actually finish it and as well Magnolia is like a side character in this book but like she is really really annoying me because she is so toxic and like I didn't notice that too much when I was reading from her POV like obviously I did like obviously I knew that her relationship with BJ was not a good relationship at all but like because it was her POV and like we were literally reading like her thoughts it didn't seem as though she was as messed up as she is but like reading her as like a side character you can really realize how dysfunctional her and BJ are and like how it's like really really not good at all it's so toxic but like I can't look away like I need to see how it ends and I suppose that's a good thing like it is addictive it is a fast read I'm planning on reading like a good bit tonight I've been reading for three and a half hours so far and I'm gonna be like stopping for Love Island and then I'm gonna be continuing on and reading for as much as I can Now 222 pages into Daisy Hates by Jessa Hastings and to check on the timer I am currently at five and a half hours so yeah I have like about 200 pages left of Daisy Hates and I'm like between minds on what I want to do right now because I do have like half of this book left but it is like the second half of the book and arguably that's just faster than the first half of the book because you know that you like you're gonna finish it very soon so I could like power through and like try to finish this book tonight and then start another book tomorrow however fourth wing is kind of calling to me right now and I don't know whether I want to like pause this one and start fourth wing and then come back and finish this one but I don't know which I'm gonna do because basically like I have the house to myself tonight my mom is gone out and she's staying overnight with her friends so I have like the entire house to myself overnight and like that never ever happens so I want to make the most of it and I want to like really do a good readathon but also like it's not even 11 p.m and I'm like quite tired so I don't know how successful it's going to be honestly but I want to give it a go and I feel like the smart thing to do is to finish Daisy Hates at this point because like I've literally got like less than half of the book left and it is enjoyable it's fun it's exciting it's easy to read and also I can switch to my kindle on this book which I love doing in the nighttime because I love reading laying down and there is nothing worse than like trying to hold up a book when you're like trying to lay down so I'm definitely gonna switch to my kindle for this one and honestly like I want to give fourth wing like my full attention and I want to be like taking in all of the details and I want to annotate it and I feel like I'm a little bit too tired to do that right now so yeah I've made up my mind I'm going to continue with Daisy Hates I'm gonna try to finish this book it's honestly like quite hard to read like large sections of this book in one go because it's just quite repetitive and like the characters are sometimes a little bit irritating so I might like try read as much as I can and then like take a break and maybe watch something and then come back to it I am literally gonna cry right now I set my alarm for the morning and I closed my clock app it literally reset my timer I am so upset right now because I was five and a half hours in that is so frustrating and honestly like it does this at least once every single readathon but that's why 
I set a timer as well as a stopwatch because for some reason like these never seem to reset but like the stopwatches do I don't understand that I'm I feel betrayed right now like I literally feel cheated because I had my stopwatch going I had it going and like it's been going for like days like why now anyways let's move on from that it's fine i have my timer still here i have 18 and a half hours left on this timer i'm just gonna get straight into reading right now i have decided to camp out in the living room tonight because i don't know there's something about like a readathon having the house to yourself and having like a sleepover on the couch so i'm literally laying on my couch and reading daisy hates i'm currently 57 percent of the way through i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish it but i am more awake now than when i made the last update i don't know why i was so tired but i'm a bit more awake now and i'm really enjoying this book but things are like suspiciously happy like these people are like you're too happy and we're only like 57% of the way through the book so like I know that something horrendous is gonna happen to them and like they're gonna literally hate each other in a few pages so I'm kind of scared but like also very very excited but yeah I'm just really really liking this book and I'm so glad that I decided to continue with this one and try to finish it before I start fourth wing but that's honestly my main motivation for finishing this book right now because I want to read fourth wing so badly like I want to read that book so much and I might even be able to start it in the morning if I finish Daisy Hates so that is my main motivation. I'm gonna go, I will come back to you if I have any like significant reading updates, but honestly, I probably won't. Like, I probably won't. So if not, I will come back to you in the morning and let you know how much I read. Magnolia's character literally irritates me so much. Like, I don't know why I didn't notice it as much in like her book, because I guess I suppose like we were reading from her perspective, so I didn't find her as irritating. But as a side character, I'm like, oh my God, like get this woman off the page like i do not want to read about her i do not like her and it's kind of making me scared to read like the third book because i'm like am i gonna dislike her but like she's literally acting like a child like she's here like stamping her foot when something doesn't go her way and like what's worse is like all of her friends are like okay with it like they're just like oh it's such a cute little quirky thing that she does babe like no that's not a normal thing to do and like i don't know but like the way that she's like described and the way that she's written is in like such a childlike way like they're literally describing her as if she's a child but like she's a full-grown woman like she's like in her 20s are you not embarrassed like are you not embarrassed acting like this like do you realize how you're acting right now because i know that like she has that weird toxic thing going on with bj i get that but like this i draw the line at this anyways rant over and like Christian my man like he's still in love with her he's still in love with Magnolia it's painful to read because I'm like Daisy knows like Daisy knows that you're in love with her and like that must hurt her so much and I know that that's gonna be like the conflict you can see it coming like a mile off that that's gonna be the conflict Christian needs to like cop on and realize that Magnolia is in her little weird little fucked up circle with BJ and he should just leave her and go with Daisy that's my two cents I literally feel like you could put me in this group of people and I would sort their shit out in like less than 24 hours like guaranteed I can fix them I can change them anyways let's get back to reading <laughs> Good morning besties okay it is now just after 7 a.m i set my alarm for like quite early because i wanted to read as much as possible today so last night before i went to bed i think i only read for like an hour let me check my timer yeah i literally read for an hour and three minutes but i have 17 hours 25 minutes left on my readathon and i wanted to give you an update on daisy hates so i didn't manage to finish the book i actually was like really really tired last night and ended up falling asleep like at midnight or just before midnight which was so unusual like usually i stay up until like one or two o'clock in the morning okay i literally had to move the camera but anyways i made it up to 66 percent of the way through daisy hates last night i got to chapter 50 so i have like just over 100 pages left of this book i am really liking it i feel like in the second half like the plot has picked up massively like there's such a good plot going on right now like for the first half of the book like there was zero plot and like i didn't necessarily mind because i feel like you go into these books for the characters not necessarily the plot but yeah like now that we're in the second half the plot is like really Really, really picking up and i'm so excited to see how it ends so i definitely want to finish this book today however i did say last night that my plan was to finish daisy hates yesterday so that i could start fourth wing this morning and like obviously i didn't finish daisy hates but i kind of want to start fourth wing and i'm a one book at a time girly like i know that I should finish Daisy Hates before I start this one but like I really want to start this one and like I kind of want to read it before I go on holidays and I go on holidays next week so I want to give myself time to like finish it I suppose though if it's as good as like everyone's saying I'm going to read this in like 
a day. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly, because also I really wanna finish Daisy Hates, but I know that this is gonna take me like a few hours to finish. Because I know I'm not gonna be able to read like 130 pages in like an hour, you know? So I think I might honestly start fourth wing and like see how it's going and then continue with daisy hates later in the day i don't know but right now i am going to go make myself a coffee and try and wake myself up a little bit more and then i will decide which book i'm going to start with but i think it's going to be fourth wing because i really want to start this book so yeah i think that's my plan for right now i'm going to go drink some water make myself a coffee and then start on fourth wing i'm planning on like annotating this book too which is so exciting because i've not annotated a book in forever like literally forever so i'm so excited to be doing that hours 25 minutes left in this readathon so I have been reading for another couple of hours I'm now 72% of the way through Daisy Hates I got to page 303 so I've literally got 100 pages left and I cannot wait to finish it now because I know that like the next 100 pages is literally going to be so chaotic and I can't wait to see how it ends but I also started fourth wing I read to chapter five and oh my god you guys like I can already see why this book has so much hype like usually when I start a fantasy book the first like 50 to 100 pages they're just confusion and like that's in literally every fantasy book because you're learning new words, new magic systems, new rules for everything so like the first 50 to 100 pages are never like that enjoyable in a fantasy book but like this one has had me hooked from like the very first page so yeah I'm like 55 pages into that book I am going to be like pausing that until I finish Daisy Hates and then I will be coming straight back to that book but right now as I said it is almost midday so I think I'm gonna like go get ready for the day and do like a couple of other things because literally since I woke up I've literally been just reading and editing I'm putting up a video and like doing all booktube bookish things which has been so nice but I do have some other things to do right now so I'm gonna get on those and then I will come back to reading also I just started watching the summer I turned pretty which is so exciting because I've been waiting to watch it since it came out last year and I've just never wanted to watch it because I never wanted it to be over and also like it's gonna put me in the summer mood because our weather has been like very crappy lately and I want to be in like more of a summery mood finished Daisy Hates by Jessa Hastings. I ended up finishing it last night and I really really loved it in the end. I don't know what it is about these books that like once it gets to like the second half or like honestly like the last third even the plot just takes off, the characters take off, like everything gets so much more exciting and then you finish it and you're like wow that was an amazing book. But I also kind of have to remember the fact that like the first half of the book kind of did irritate me and like was very very slow and like virtually nothing happened. However that being said I am giving this book a four stars because I did really really like it. I don't really have any other thoughts than the ones that I've shared previously. It was very entertaining. It was fun. I actually really liked the plot in this and of course in typical Jessa Hastings fashion it did end on like a cliffhanger. Well not really a cliffhanger but like it ended in a way that makes you need to continue with the series straight away. I don't think I'm ready to move on to the rest of the series just yet because I feel like you need to give yourself a bit of time between these books because they're a lot. Like they are fun but they're a lot. I really love Daisy and Christian together and honestly I really love Julie as well. I know earlier in the vlog I said that I didn't really love how there was three POVs but I actually ended up really loving that because I really liked Julian's POV. Julian is Daisy's brother and I really loved their relationship. I loved their dynamic. I loved how protective he was of her but yeah I have now finished this book. I am so glad that I read it. So glad that I finished it and honestly I'm really proud of myself for reading like literally like a 400 plus page book in such a short period of time and yeah I'm giving this a four stars. Now to check on the timer let's see where we're at. So I'm currently up to six hours 48 minutes but also also, I have to add like another five and a half onto that, but I've got 11 hours 54 minutes left in the readathon, so I'm literally halfway through. But right now, I'm going to be moving on to Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I did read up to chapter five yesterday, which is like page 55 or something, so I'm already a little bit of the way through and I'm already loving it, already hooked. I feel like the beginning of this book was very, very strong considering it's a fantasy book, and sometimes like the beginnings can be quite confusing to get into. So I'm really loving this, really excited to continue. I am about to go out for the entire day though. I am spending the day with my sister, so I don't. I don't know how much I'm going to get to read but I am going to bring my book with me and hopefully read. Honestly I feel like this book is going to take me the majority of the 12 hours that I have left because fantasy books always take me a while to read so I feel like once I finish this one I might have like three hours left on the timer or something maybe two and then I might start like a summary romance book and then I will end this vlog but yeah I'm going to start this one 
really excited because the hype for this book is insane like I've never seen hype as much for any other book ever so I'm very excited to get into this but yeah I'm gonna go right now and I will come back to you later when I have more reading updates Okay, so it's now later in the evening and I'm now on sprints with Jody. We're doing some like late night cozy reading sprints for our readathon and I'm about to continue with fourth wing. I'm so excited. I'm quite tired so I don't know how much of this I'm gonna get to read but I'm gonna restart my timer and I'm gonna keep reading this book. But yeah, like the cozy vibes are on point right now. Like I have like my bookshelf lights. I don't know if you can see but I also have like my projector thing that has like stars and stuff and I'm on sprints with Jody. So this is just peak coziness and I can't wait to continue reading fourth wing. Bye. 